Earlier this year, we reviewed the Caveman BP-1, a brilliant high-end base preamp based on the legendary Neve 1073. Now Caveman has followed this model up with a compact version, which I mean, uh, yes, please. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Gregor Fries and today I'm accompanied by my buddy Phil Rehm on bass. And this is the new compact version, which is, as you can see, considerably smaller than the standard BP-1. I never wanted to complain about the size because I'm well aware that what's in here would never fit into a bus or something like an MXR pedal housing. Amongst other things, there's a big ass output transformer in here, which is one of the reasons these sound so great and they also have an internal power supply. The big one has a few options, which I'm sure some users will gladly trade for a smaller enclosure and now these people got their wish. That was Phil on his personal Dingwall Super J and this sound sample, just as all the other sound samples in this video are barely edited, so you get a real impression of what the preamp actually sounds like. I highly encourage you to watch our Big Box uh, BP-1 video after this, uh, so you get to hear even more sounds with a different player, Frank in this case, and of course also a few more basses. The BP-1 Compact follows a beautiful minimalistic design. On the face of the pedal we have vintage styled controls for gain and level. These preamps typically don't have an overdrive LED. Machines like this are meant to be dialed in with your ears, not your eyes. The gain sweet spot area for most bases is around the 11 to 1 o'clock position. But as you play around with this to find that sweet spot you will notice that sound changes the more gain you dial in. These 1073 bass preamps get a richer mid structure and even a little bit of compression the hotter you drive them. And on the other side they clean up beautifully once you go below that. On the back of the pedal we got all our ins and outs. There's one standard bass input, the transformer based XLR DI out, an effects loop, an amp out, the tuner out and your 12 volt power in. 12 volts make this kind of a pedal board friendly pedal and again yeah for the big one you will need an extra power cable. The effects loop in here is not switchable as in the big pedal, but that's fine. And uh, behind the input sits a buffer, which you kind of want to be the very first thing in your pedal chain. So the effects loop sits in between this buffer and the preamp. The only exception for me would be certain fuzz pedals. Some of these famously want to be even first or in your pedal chain. So these would, in my case, go before this preamp. And uh, by the way, this switch is a mute. Uh, this pedal just never needs to be switched off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. Uh, I just had a quick chat with my package, the Lurovi guy, who turns out to be a bass player, and he told me about all the amps that he has and the pedals and everything. So, where were we? I'm a huge fan of the 1073, it's a permanent part of my recording setup. And now to finally see this in the compact pedal is, yeah, this, this is cool. And now we even got options, but the best thing to do with this is just uh, putting it in front of a bass amp. You don't get the choosy output transformer that way, which is only for the DI out, but it still sounds amazing. And this in combination with my Glockenklang bass art classic is nothing short of a mesmerizing experience. There's only one negative about this really, and that's uh, of course the price. Uh, this is just one euro short of 600 bucks, which is a lot for a pedal. 
unless you consider what a 1073 usually costs because then this uh, suddenly turns into a total bargain. And I wouldn't be surprised if other instrumentalists discover this for what it really is. It's just a really good mic preamp built for string instruments and use it as well for their thing. Now comes the hard part and I think it's better if you sit down for this. Uh, I'm not sure how to tell you, but probably the DI out in your amp sounds crap. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but at some point it must be addressed. The most DI outs of amps are just XLR outs. There's nothing really done to them. Um, it's just an output. And if you, if you think it sounds great, then of course go with it. But if you play live or go to the studio and want to have a really good DI sound, this or something like this is just the way to go. It's far superior to any DI out in any amp. And in this realm of great DIs, believe it or not, but this is actually one of the most affordable units that you can get. I mean, think of something like the Ready Tube DI, the, the Noble or the BAE 1073 DMP. That's the leak we're talking about here. And they are much more expensive than this one. So big thumbs up, uh, Caveman. This, this is a really good pedal. Check it out. There are links in the video description below to order one to read more about it and uh, there are also links to different dealers. I'm not sure if they carry this but if you want to buy anything use these links to help us out and otherwise thanks for watching see you next time please like this video please subscribe to our channel buy our merch watch more videos I don't know do things bye